Man, let me tell you about my experience trying to learn VDC cars. I drove these cars twice before. I drove it for the first time at Shadow Valley, and then I drove it again in VR. And in VR, it was a little bit easier to drive. If you've driven with VR, you know it is better to actually be in the car instead of looking at a screen. So I did start to get used to one of the cars, but it's not a VDC track. So I tried to download a VDC track and just see what I can do. So the first track I just found, go so VDC Atopolis 2022. I don't know if it's a easy track or hard track. I don't know. I just picked a random VDC track. I just searched for it, found it. And then I tried to use the S15 that I used in the past because I was already somewhat comfortable with it. I've used it, started to get the hang of it until my car ran out of gas. Did I just unlock VDC? Did I just download the update to myself? Did, did that just happen just now? I'm out of gas. So starting with the VDC Atopolis track, I decided to do a site lap so I could see all the inside clipping zones, outside zones, wherever I need to be. And that way I can try to gauge where I need to be on each turn. Um, I know I'm probably not gonna do a perfect run, but at least wanted to get something like high 90s or mid 90s, low 90s even, just something in the 90s, something that looks like I know what I'm doing. Um, again, I don't have a lot of experience with these cars, so I knew it would be a battle trying to do that. I decided to do a sight lap so I could see exactly where I'm going. And after I got through the zone and saw the finish line, I decided to just drive through the whole track and basically just loops you all the way back around. I guess if you're doing like a server or something, that's a good way to just loop all the way back around, just follow the whole lap. So after that, I decided to try it and I just tried it straight out of the box. So no alignment settings, no tire pressure settings, nothing just straight out of the box. I tried to see what I could do. As expected, I didn't do too good. Had a lot of mistakes, uh, a lot of spinning off the track, a lot of hitting the barriers, just hitting everything except my points. But again, as I know it's gonna take some time. I don't have a lot of experience. I'm talking maybe 30 minutes altogether between those two videos, 30 to 40 minutes of seat time in these cars. And here I am trying to do a professional track. So I knew it'd be a battle, but again, let's see what we can do. The hardest part I had to figure out was uh, what the gearing would be. So just going from the start line to the first point where I have to initiate the drift, seemed like third gear was about where I would get to at that speed. So I tried third gear all the way through the track. I uh, wasn't sure that was gonna be it or not, but I just tried it. It felt comfortable for a little bit. And then I actually started to make some adjustments to the car. So actually, the first thing I changed was tire pressures. Um, I didn't make huge adjustments. I think I just went a little bit up in the rear because it was super gripped up. Of course, you guys know these cars are super gripped up. And I try to take a little bit of grip out of it. And that way it'd be kind of float a little bit more. Maybe I'll be more comfortable with it. I'm not competing against anybody, so I don't necessarily need all the grip in the world. And so, um, I tried to take some of the tire pressure out, see if it helped, and it seemed like it helped a little bit. And then in doing so, I did start to get a little bit more comfortable, and that's when I actually realized that third gear, a little bit too short. I was basically banging limiter the whole time in third gear, and I couldn't really accelerate after a certain point, so that's why I tried to decide, maybe I could do fourth gear. So the next time I started to do the laps, I started to initiate in fourth gear, and it seemed like it helped a lot. So it seemed like fourth gear is the magic gear, at least for this track. And I was able to, you know, kind of pedal the throttle and kind of keep up my speed and actually accelerate if I needed to accelerate and maintain the speed. And fourth gear seemed like it was actually the ticket for this track. So after doing that for a few times, again, still making mistakes here and there, I decided, you know what, let's just not worry about all the clipping points and outside zone inside zone let's skip all that stuff and just link link the course try to at least link the track and then i can make adjustments where i need to if i need to be further outside here or further inside here but at least link the link the course and then i tried it i linked the course it wasn't a great run it wasn't no 90 point run probably wasn't even a 60 point run i think i missed over half the zones but again i just wanted to link the course and actually you know just at least maintain a drift all the way through the course and i did so after that i actually ended up driving all the way through the course and by the time i got all the way back to the beginning i decided to just go for it straight from there and i noticed i actually did really good and i think the reason was because my tires were actually warmed up 
So after realizing my tires were warmed up and it actually runs better, after resetting, I actually tried to do donuts and actually warm my car up a little bit. The donuts weren't really doing anything. Everything was ice cold, including my front tires. So I came up with this brilliant idea, back out and put on tire blankets. After putting on tire blankets, I came back and then I actually tried on fresh green tires, front and rear, and I actually did pretty good. Right after starting with already warm tires, I actually linked the course again the second time. It just wasn't perfect. It wasn't as great as I wanted it to be, but the fact that I know it actually handles better with the warmed up tires, that was uh, definitely a bonus. So it gave me a little bit of confidence and I kept going and going. And then I don't know what happened. I just started to suck again. So after that, I actually tried to go back into my settings and I actually changed some alignment. Um, I turned down, I believe I turned down the rear toe. Um, I tried to, again, I tried to loosen the car up a little bit because I felt like it was super, super grippy, which these cars are, they should be, they're supposed to be, but I tried to tame, tame, the, tame the grip down just a little bit so it's actually more easier and floaty to handle for me. And it seemed like it helped a little bit. Um, I did start to link a little bit more of the course. The problem was though, even getting through the first and second section of the course, I had no idea what to do at the end. At the end, it's basically, it's not necessarily a hairpin, but it's that sharp turn with where you're supposed to be in one zone all the way through. And I didn't even know how to get to it. Like I, I, I could, even the times I got to it, I didn't know whether, I didn't know how to get into that turn perfectly and lay that turn, that drift, all the way in that line, in that area, the entire time, and I struggled with that. But after struggling with that for a while, I really just started to get frustrated. It was killing me, I was getting tired, and I had no answers for anything. I, every time I got there, I just spun into the grass. I didn't know what to do. Um, I tried to e-brake, I tried to downshift, and it's just, well, everything I was trying, I was left foot braking, regular braking, like nothing was working for me and I didn't really know what to do. So in a thing of desperation, again, I went back to the alignment and I tried zero toe, 100% <laughs> zero toe, just to see how the car would feel. And it was super loose, but it was a little bit too loose and it just felt weird. So um, I didn't really like it. It did not drive like a, pro drift car it at that point it just basically had too much power for not enough grip and it just it just felt super super slick and it didn't want to turn it just it felt weird i didn't like zero toe so i added toe back again i did uh start to link most of the track again but still when i got to that back wall didn't know what to do that back wall that last turn was just so confusing no matter how many times I tried, I never really figured it out. But um, eventually, I kind of figured something out. And what I was trying to do when I got to that back turn, uh, most of the time I was in fourth, because I do most of the track in fourth. I was downshifting in the third, pulling the e-brake and trying to get it set and then try to dump the clutch back in the third. But instead, I actually noticed it was better if I didn't pull e-brake at all. I would be in fourth, I would let the car rotate, clutch in, hit third, and then just dump the clutch with no e-brake. And it seemed like it worked a little bit better. It was still hard, but it seemed like it was actually working. And I felt like that was gonna be the answer for that back corner, that final boss of a back corner. So after many, 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 many more attempts <laughs> of trying to get this perfect score, at least close to perfect score, it just wasn't happening. I was getting mad again. I was getting tired. I was getting frustrated. Every time I felt like I was getting better, I would be worse on the next few turns and I just could not figure it out. I couldn't get consistency. It was just really, really tough and I wanted to give up, but I didn't. I didn't give up. I kept trying and it finally happened. I hit a cone. 
I was frustrated already, but I, it, it kind of made me laugh. But anyways, right after hitting the cone, something happened and I was, you, you guys will see it. What happened? God. So close. So close. I thought that was 100% the best run I could do. I, if I was a judge, I, if I was a judge up to that point, to that last corner, that was a hundred point run. It was perfect. And my front bumper was at every cone my rear was where it was supposed to be it was perfect good speed no no wobbles no, nothing no correction it was such a perfect run and i lost it at the last turn i don't know what happened it just it just said no it just went off the track i was so heartbroken after trying for so long so long it was it was a perfect run so again, after trying many, 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 many more times, finally, I got another good run. I did it. Oh my God, I did it. Oh man. Is Mike on? Mike, Mike. Yeah, Mike is on. What's up? Oh my God. Been sitting in this chair for two hours. <sighs> my back hurts. My eyes hurt. My arms hurt. This thing's getting hot. I'm tired, man. I finally did it. Jesus finally did it. Was it perfect? No, but that was enough for me. Again, I knew I wouldn't get a perfect run. I knew this would be a challenge to even get this far. Uh, but again, these cars, they come down to seat time and I just spent two hours trying to link one good track. Um, I did it again. I would like to do more practice so I can do it more consistently. Uh, do it in lobbies and stuff like that. But man, these cars really take some seat time. So if you guys want to hop in some BDC cars, uh, don't be don't be upset if you try three or four laps and you can't drive it because it's going to take a while. These cars are not easy. There is some settings you need to change. I wish I knew more settings like suspension wise, and that way I can make the car like, you know, kind of you know, bounce less or you know what I mean? I, I don't know suspension well enough. I'm gonna practice it one day, but stuff like that, man, you just, it's gonna take some seat time and that's the only answer I got for you. So if you wanna learn VDC cars, just understand it's gonna take some time. So I'm not the greatest driver in the world. Don't, don't want it, don't even wanna be. But for, the, for me to actually put in some hard time, some hard hours and actually link the track, I was happy at the end of the day. So if you wanna learn VDC, just try it. Just try it and keep trying it until you get it. So that's what I got, guys. I will see you guys another day. We'll hop in some more VDC. I see VDC just released a 4.0 pack. Maybe we'll do a video on those. Maybe they'll drive different, drive easier, drive harder. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But um, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Deuces. I will see you in the next one.